In this video, we are going to walk through how to install the Heltzik Unicode keyboard on Mac computers. Before we get started, it is important that you take note of what version of the Mac OS operating system you are currently using. In order to do this, go to the left-hand corner of your screen, click on the Apple logo, and then click About This Mac. Please make note of the version number that you see on your screen. Once you've made note, exit that window and go to heltzuk.arts.ubc.ca. Then, under the Tools section, click on Keyboard. Once on the keyboard page, scroll down until you see Mac. Click on Mac. This will download a zip file that has all of the necessary things you need to install the keyboard. Click to open the file. Then, double click on the Mac folder. Once in the Mac folder, you should see a file called heltzikorthography.keylayout. Click once on this file. Once the file is highlighted like this, on your keyboard, hold down the buttons Command or Apple and the C button. This will copy the file. Once you have copied the file, at the top of your screen, click Go, Computer, and then double click on Macintosh HD. Under Macintosh HD, there should be a library folder. Double click the library folder. Once in the library folder, scroll until you find the folder that says Keyboard Layouts. Double click the Keyboard Layouts folder. Now that you're inside the Keyboard Layouts folder, hold down the Command or Apple key on your keyboard, and then press the V key. This might prompt you to enter your computer password. Enter your password and click OK. You'll see that the heltzikorthography.keylayout file has been pasted within the Keyboard Layouts folder. Now, you need to restart your computer in order to save these changes. Click on the Apple logo on the top left hand of the screen and click Restart. Now that your computer has restarted, the keyboard layout has been installed to your computer. All you have to do is activate it. Now it is important to know which version of the Mac OS operating system you are currently using. For versions earlier than 10.9.1, go to the search icon at the top right hand corner of your screen, click on it, and type in System Preferences. Then click on System Preferences, and click on the Language and Region icon. A window looking something like this will open. Click on the Input Sources tab on the top of the window, and then Scrolling down the side where it shows all of the different languages, find Heltzuk. Once you find Heltzuk, check the box next to it. Once that box is checked, your keyboard has officially been installed and activated, meaning you're ready to go. With versions later than 10.9.1, go to the search icon at the top right hand corner of your screen, click on it, and type in System Preferences. Then click on System Preferences and click on the Language and Region icon. Click on Keyboard Preferences. On the left hand side, click the plus icon. Then scroll down until you see Others at the very bottom. Click on Others click on Heltzuk, and hit Add. You should now see Heltzuk under your normal keyboard. If a message comes up saying keyboard layout not available, don't worry, just ignore this. Your Heltzuk keyboard has now been installed and activated, meaning that you're ready to use it. Now that you've successfully downloaded, installed, and activated your keyboard, you can return to the Mac folder that we originally downloaded at the beginning of the tutorial. In the Mac folder, you will find a Heltzik Unicode Keyboard Mac User Guide. 
These are instructions for how to use the keyboard. We will also be going through these instructions in the next video.